Hi everyone, my name is Victor and I am one of the authors of Technique.com. Today, I'm going to be taking you through the RHC SA8 series, all right? And I'm going to be talking about how to create users and password users in Linux. If you don't have um, a basic knowledge in Linux, it's better you go through the Learn Linux from Scratch series where I have talked about Linux from um, basics. That course is actually for those who don't know anything about Linux and who want to start learning. And that series has been made to, to tutor you from scratch in a way that you easily understand everything about Linux, right? And that series is also for those who are already exposed to Linux, but left it for a while and want to revise to grasp Linux again. Not to waste too much of our time. So let's um, go to the main reason why we're here. Users account on Linux goes a very long way and it's just more than users logging in and logging out of, out of the system. And every services or processes running on Linux machines runs as a particular user. And a user can be assigned a non-interactive, interactive, a no login and login shop. We will understand this um, better as we continue. As an administrator, it is your duty to always create users and manage them on the system. And it is also your duty to um, create their passwords and manage their passwords, which we're going to see how to do now. And at the end of this lesson, I already have um, the RHC SA8 simulated questions, um, what they call DOMS. And um, we're going to look at um, those questions and solve um, some problems. All right. Okay. Linux users are stored in the etc password file. Let's go ahead and check the file. All right. So you can see every Linux user here. Look at the second to the last user, spelled O L U W A T O M I S I N. That's actually my second name. <laughs> go ahead and try to pronounce that name. <laughs> I'm sure you get it wrong if you're not a Yoruba. A Yoruba. Yoruba. There are fields in this file that you need to understand. Um, the first field, which is the first column, right, is the username. The second column, which is X, represents the password. Of course, the password can't be displayed. Moreover, there is a, a, a file, a, a password file in the location it is the shadow, which we're going to look at as we continue. The third field represents the user ID. Every user has a unique ID, right? And the um, unique ID for this user is 1000. The fourth column represents the group ID. Well, a primary group ID. In RHEL, when a user is created, a group for that user is also automatically created, which has a, a ID too. And the primary group name is the name of the user. So in, in this case, the group ID two is 1000, all right? This field, the fifth field, represents um, a comment section or a jackals. So that is um, if you create a user and you want to know um, the the department of the user, for example, all right, you can just uh, put finance, all right? So it's, um, it's just the comment section for you to be able to easily identify the user. This field, the sixth field, right? is the home directory of the user, which is slash home slash Oluwato missing. The home directory of a user is explained in um, the Learn Linux from Scratch series, where I took my time to explain um, the Linux file system hierarchy and structure. All right, so that's why I've said you should go through, through that series if you don't have um, um, fundamentals of Linux. All right, so the last field, which is the seventh field, represents the um, user's shell. In this case, the user's shell is bash, all right? And the command um, used to create um, a, a, a user, right, in, in Linux is user add. Now that we understand all of this, in the next video, we're going to look at how to create users in Linux. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel and bye for now.